So Johnny from Cyprus, but from Iran. Hello, good to see you. Happy No Ruse. Now, we had a few other questions. It was Nerham saying, what the difference of thought, knowledge, and insight? You really want to put me to work today, aren't you? Just good. Let me wake up. For that, I need a little bit of a almond milk. <laughs> All right. To understand this, what you said, thought and knowledge and wisdom, we need to go back maybe 40, 50,000 years or maybe more, I don't know. First, we have to understand how thought is born. What is thought? What is this business of thinking? Just imagine the caveman, just when he was about to find out, or just about he developed into ability to distinguish things more than the instinct. And let's say we are in that time of the history. I don't know how many thousand years ago, whatever it is. So the caveman comes out, the cave for the first time, let's say, <laughs> and is walking. And he puts his foot on a certain part of the earth, maybe a rock underneath his feet or some kind of a slope, or maybe it was wet in slippery mud. Somehow he stumbles and falls. And he feels kind of, you know, hurt on his knee or on his ankle. From that experience, he, he, he gets, a, from that action that happened, the falling, he learns a certain experience. From that experience, he gains a certain knowledge that if I put my foot this way and it was wet here and at that angle, then I lost balance and I fell and then this hurt and all that. Just play along. I'm trying to deliver something. It could be in different ways. but <laughs> Or picked up the apple and took a bite and the whole, whole hell broke loose. You know, that's an action, apple, an experience from eating that and the consequences, the knowledge. So all that became part of his content of his consciousness. It became a memory because action happened, the falling or the apple experience of the falling or having the apple and then from that a knowledge the experience became knowledge and the knowledge was recorded in his memory became part of the consciousness and other things happened in the same way accumulated more knowledge which became stored in the memory and eventually that memory has more and more stuff in it which creates the field of the known the field of the consciousness, the content of the consciousness, and puts together the memory, the consciousness. We call it field of the known. Known is the experiences, knowledge that you're, you, you're aware of it. It's known to you. So the field of the known. Now, from these memory and experiences that is now knowledge in your memory, from this memory, from this field, a thought is born according to what was gathered in that memory. From that thought which is based on the memory that you had in your consciousness, a new action takes place. From that action, a new experience. From that experience, new knowledge. And that knowledge is gained back and recorded into your memory. And again, that accumulation from that thought is born. Always your thought, in this way, not transient thought, coming is born from the field of the known, from the content of your consciousness. So the thought from the content of your consciousness leads to action. Action gives you an experience. Experience turns into knowledge. Knowledge is recorded to memory. From the memory, field of the known, another thought is born. So this is how thought is born. This is what a thought is. And of course, a lot more explanation about it, but for our conversation right now, this is enough. And this is the thought and in the knowledge. You understand now where the thought is born, action, experience, knowledge, 
that's between knowledge and, and then the insight is based on this accumulated information you have on your in your consciousness you come up with things that you have experienced before and that experience gives you a certain kind of an awareness of what to expect or what possibilities could be like a chess game that you learn certain openings and then having played that game thousands of time then you have a certain expectations of this move could lead and end up with that ending or that trouble or that possibilities that's pretty much insight that you have without really having had the game advanced to see what it comes but from the experience and from the knowledge that you have in the game you can tell where this move is going to lead to that's one way of explaining one way of explaining insight and the wisdom of course is the accumulation of all these understanding that how to make decisions and judge based on the information and the experiences and the thoughts and the knowledge all of it together gives you that wisdom very simple way of uh, uh, explaining it all but I think in the time that we have that should do for now